I'm making a Cajun turkey skillet dinner today. This dish is so full of flavor, you won't believe it. And we're going to be using ground turkey and Swiss chard in it, along with some wonderful spices and rice. Please enjoy, and you'll find the ingredients listed below in the description box and the full recipe at Diane's World Cooking on Facebook. You'll need to dice one medium onion, and then you're going to want to have a colorful pepper, and red or orange would be beautiful. Dice your pepper to be about the same size as your onion. Get four or five garlic cloves ready, mince them fine. And then one large celery stalk, also cut small, to match the size of your peppers and your onions. I have some red Swiss chard here and I'm just gonna take off the stems. You can use any kind of Swiss chard and I've washed it well and I'm drying it and then I'm going to chop it into about two inch chunks. You're going to need about four cups of your Swiss chard and if you have too much, you can always use it later. Now I'm getting a big saute pan covered with some extra virgin olive oil. Add your celery and onions and peppers. And I'm going to add about a teaspoon of kosher salt or it could be sea salt. This will really flavor this combo. I'm chopping up some flat leaf parsley and this is going to be added at the end. Now that my onions are really soft, I'm going to add the garlic. Always wait till the onions are soft. It makes a difference. Here come the dry spices. I'm going to use one tablespoon of regular paprika and I'm also going to add one tablespoon of dried cumin. You could substitute this for a Cajun spice blend if you want. Um, either one will work really great. I really like to add my dry spices at this point. It helps them bloom and gives them great flavor. When your veggies are all nice and soft, you'll remove them. Just place them in a bowl because now we're going to cook our ground turkey and we just want to give that a chance to brown up nicely. While my turkey's cooking, I'm going to get a half a cup of white long grain rice. Now you could use brown rice, but you'd have to pre-cook it because this is a very quick dish and it takes a long time to cook brown rice. I'm going to drain and rinse some dark red kidney beans. So my turkey's looking pretty good and I'm using this meat chopper that I really love. It's a great utensil to really break up ground meat when you're cooking it. So now I'm going to add in that combo of veggies that I cooked earlier into the turkey, now that the turkey has lost its pink color. You'll want to get everything blended really well, and then you're going to add your rice. I'm also adding two cups of chicken stock, or you could use veggie stock too. And so it's always two cups of liquid to one cup of rice, unless you're making a brown rice or a basmati rice. Turn your heat to high and you can see it's come to a boil. That's what you need and then put a lid on and turn it to low. And this is 15 minutes later and the rice is plumped up pretty well. It's going to keep cooking just a little bit more with the Swiss chard. It's a good time to take out those thyme stems if you did use whole thyme. Now I'm going to add the Swiss chard and like I said about four cups and I'm going to save the rest for something else. So blend it all really well so the Swiss chard gets to cook. And here are the red kidney beans. You'll want to add them right now too. Blend all of your ingredients together and you see I'm using a tong. I really love using tongs for projects like this. You have way more control and if you use a spoon, you just don't have the same effect. This is looking really beautiful with all these colors. You're just gonna cook your Swiss chard a little bit more. I'm stirring it all up, really blending that Swiss chard into the bottom. And now I want to put a lid on this and cook it just for about maybe five minutes more. I always season my dish with salt and pepper at the end when I'm cooking something. It really picks up all the flavors. It really stimulates them after cooking for a while. They lose their flavor a little bit. Now it's time to get your dinner ready and it didn't take that long and it's so healthy and flavorful and nutritious. Time to taste. This smells so great. You would not believe it. It smells just like 
something Cajun-y or a little bit Southwestern. It doesn't matter. And this is to healthy eating too. Mmm. Wow. You get that little bit of crunch still from that Swiss chard and that nice creaminess from the kidney bean. You've got to make this.